Welcome back. This is Korea Vlog. How are you guys? Well, uh, what's the weather like in your country? We're here in Korea. It's really nice and chilly at the same time. So today, I'm going to show you one of the most proud culture in Korean history, namely Goguryeo Dynasty. Are you guys interested? So today, I'm going to get you a taste of Goguryeo culture in Daejanggang village. Okay, so let's get the journey started. Oh, so this is the entrance of Goguryeo Daejanggang Maul. Hilly high, we are at Goguryeo Daejanggang village today. Well, to tell you a little bit more about it, thanks to its strong military force, Goguryeo expanded its way up to the some parts of mainland in China and even some parts of today's Russia. So which means that Goguryeo used to be even larger than the undivided Korea nowadays. Can you believe it? Oh, you love Jumo! Oh my god, you know so much about Korean culture and history! Okay! Woo, take a look! Well, this spot is called Gomulchon, and it used to be something like the town of these days. And this is where people used to have meetings for important village matters. And look, as you can see up, right up there, there's a hole in the middle of the roof. And it reminds me of an open-air baseball stadium. Don't you think? Oh, yes, yeah, you're right. We are traveling back in time to Goguryeo Dynasty. Oh, let's take a look at this place. This building right here is called the Gyeongdang. And this is where common people could come and get educated. But unfortunately, we cannot enter there anymore. So if you get lucky next time when you visit here, you will be able to get in. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's get in. Wow, this place looks so special. Interesting. Those snowmen shaped like window frame. What do you guys think? I know, buildings are very unique, right? Oh, and if you look right up there, it has some special features. Do you see the wide opening up there? That is called Kachi Jibu, which could be translated into Magfi Roof. The purpose of this open roof was just for ventilation. But what's surprising is that the snow or rain would never come in. Can you believe? Hello, anybody there? Well, actually, this is where uh, people light up the fire to get the flow of the house heated up. So this is very important part of what we are going to see next, all right? And then, let's go up. Wow, look! Can you guys feel the cozy atmosphere of this place? Well, actually, the round-shaped rock over there is called Chokkudul. So when you heated up the fire from the downstairs that we just saw earlier, it goes right up to this Chokkudul and it divides the heat through this way and it goes all around the entire circle, which could be a heating war, just like the one that you have in Western countries. Isn't it interesting? I know, I was in a movie and I'm still in a movie with you! If you come here, ta-da! Well, I would say this is the highlight part of this tour today. So there's a huge water hill over there. Well, actually, its diameter itself is 7 meters. Can you guys imagine? How interesting! Well, it's just amazing how they have such great knowledge and techniques to make 
these tools back in those days? Well, I would just say the word respect. So these are the tools and the special armed wear for the war. Lou, it's a subtle and it's a part of armed war that people wear uh, for the war to fight, right? Oh, so this is the oven that people uh, used to use to make the steel, right? Oh, interesting. And you know, to make the steel appropriately, the oven has to be heated up to 1,500 Celsius degrees. And you know what? I am going to do something special to heat this baby up, okay? Okay, be careful when you uh, come on this log. And what I'm going to be doing is called the pulmuji. Look, you pull it and push it. Pull it, push it. And you just keep on doing it. And what it does it is that it blows the air into this oven to get the heating system reach 1,500 Celsius degrees. So this place is called Yeonho Gete, and this is a house where a nobleman used to live in. Okay, then I'm going to show you inside of this Yeonho Gete. You know, actually, this is a place of a nobleman used to live in. It's a bit different from Damdokche, where the normal people used to live in. So you can see all the fancy interiors in it, and also fancy window frames. Can you guys notice it? There is a special painting of God and Godness. And for your information, on the right, that is the God of Sun. And on the left, that is the Godness of Moon. Wow, how exotic is it? As you might have noticed it, and the entrance itself, it's really high. This is because uh, dynasty, Goguryeo dynasty people are horse riding people. And in emergency situations, they just uh, prefer to come in through the entrance, still riding on the horses. So that's why this entrance is really high. And let's take a moment to enjoy the beautiful scenery of Acha Mountain. Well, by the way, for your information, Acha Mountain is the only place where a historical site of Goguryeo Dynasty has existed. So that's what makes this Acha Mountain so special. Ooh, it's time to be back in 2021! Well, actually, many people do not know much about the Goguryeo era, but this was definitely a good chance to learn about it, right? And I hope you guys feel the same way too. Well, thank you guys for coming in today. And I hope to see you guys next Wednesday this time. And love you all. Bye.